Huawei plans to manufacture a photonic chip to evade American chip restrictions, while the Netherlands believes that the ban on lithography equipment is pointless and absurd. Welcome everyone, in this video, we'll look at how Huawei used American regulations on semiconductors to its advantage, ultimately resulting in a revolutionary new kind of chip that has shocked the entire world. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. Russia said that they had miscalculated China's potential at the same time. Recent news stories suggest that despite the U.S. semiconductor restrictions, Huawei is moving forward with research into a new field, photonic chips. The performance of this chip is superior to that of any other chip now available, and it does not need the use of lithography equipment produced by European or American firms. As per the Dutch media, the U.S. lithography machine blockage is meaningless, and it is possible that China may no longer need this technology in the future in order to make high-end chips. Moreover, Huawei's action was highly valued by the Russian media. They argue that the U.S. had miscalculated the resilience and will of Chinese businesses and that the embargo would only encourage them to rebel. It is useless to restrict the lithography machine. The White House has placed a number of restrictions on Chinese semiconductor and communication technology companies. Enterprises on the blacklist, like the Dutch ASML, are not allowed to purchase products or technology from European or American companies creating lithographic equipment. Companies like Huawei have been affected by these regulations. Huawei's success is predicated on high-end semiconductors made in Europe and the US, but American law prohibits the ownership of such chips from engaging in commerce with the Chinese firm. Huawei took a huge effort and started creating photonic chips to get around this restriction. It's possible that those who aren't chip savvy have never heard of these chips before. In reality, the semiconductor business consists of various subfields. The more common chips fall under the umbrella of integrated circuits, whereas the photonic chip belongs to the field of optoelectronics. The latter is much more efficient than conventional integrated circuits while being less well known. The photonic chip's superior transmission capability has the potential to significantly enhance the effectiveness of electronic devices. It's easy to see why photonic chips might be preferable to more conventional silicon processors. Complete photonic chips have the potential for data transfer rates of up to 300 gigabytes per second or 10 to 50 times quicker than conventional electrical circuits. Also, the photonic chip could eventually defy Moore's law. Even if we've made it to the 7nm 5nm process in semiconductor manufacturing, it's going to become harder and harder to depend on cutting-edge innovation to boost chip performance and decrease power consumption. Once the limit is reached, conventional chip technology will experience a bottleneck. Now development on integrated circuits is nearing its end and is restricted by physical constraints. Once a chip size has reached the 2M range, further downsizing is very hard. There is no assurance that performance will actually increase even if the project is a success. From a technological standpoint, photonic chips represent the future of the semiconductor market. The most critical aspect is that research in this area is only getting started and that neither Europe nor the United States has gained dominance. If China can establish itself as a leader in the field of photonic chip application, it will be capable of eliminating its existing disadvantages. Furthermore, the method used to produce these chips is totally new. It will use cutting-edge manufacturing techniques that eliminate the need for lithography equipment. The Dutch press has pinpointed the most crucial part. They say the embargo on American-made lithography equipment will be removed shortly. In the near future, lithography equipment may become obsolete. The U.S. has been wrong in its assessment of Chinese firms' R&D capacity. The United States government saw this as a golden chance to block China's access to the high-end semiconductor industry. Surprisingly, it motivates Chinese businesses to find creative solutions to technological problems. Huawei is now making the right choice due to its focus on state-of-the-art chip technology research. Chinese firms have also readied another mystical weapon, carbon-based chips, more specifically, graphene chips, in addition to their study into photonic chip architecture. Once this chip is properly designed, it will totally reverse the trend of prior chip development. After more than 10 years of dedicated research, experts from the Chinese Academy of Sciences have made remarkable progress. China has showcased its scientific brilliance by making its first batch of graphene wafers accessible to the public and displaying the finished products. A lot of people throughout the world have taken notice of this achievement. Although China isn't the only nation looking into graphene chips, few nations can really manufacture high-quality wafers. By developing and commercializing these wafers first, 
China has outperformed several other nations and is on course to become technologically dominant in this area. The current chip issue is not as bad as it might be. China has taken steps toward future-proofing itself by developing and adopting photonic circuits and graphene processors. The United States no longer imports Huawei business processors from China. The impact on Chinese businesses is real. After all, many companies rely heavily on components manufactured in other nations, particularly processors. However, these restrictions are not a problem for us. Although we are unable to import chips from the United States at this time, this does not prevent us from creating our own chips. Huawei responded to the issue by increasing its spending on semiconductor R&D without a question. Huawei has developed a great plan. Today, Huawei is a globally recognized brand. Technology for creating chips has taken a major step forward. Not only did the Netherlands announce that the ban on lithography equipment was useless after hearing the news, but multiple global media outlets also said that Huawei's true strength could no longer be suppressed. These chips are a must-have. The United States planned to restrict the growth of our businesses in this way, but they didn't anticipate it having the reverse effect and encouraging the growth of indigenous chips in the Chinese nation. The embargo imposed by the West will fail. At first, the news that American corporations would no longer sell chips to their businesses caused them a great anxiety. After all, China was in the same situation. In comparison to the United States, there is a huge difference. Moreover, China has always needed foreign suppliers for chips. It's not easy to create chips locally. Chips play a key role. The United States wanted to slow the expansion of Chinese businesses with this step, but they failed to anticipate that it would have the opposite effect and accelerate the creation of local chips in our country. An embargo imposed by Western countries would be unproductive. Chinese businesses were worried when they found out that the United States had stopped sending chips to their businesses. After all, China was in the midst of a national crisis. Also, they have never been self-sufficient in chips. They have always had to import them. Domestic chip design is a challenging task. Although progress has been achieved in chip R&D, this will not cause China to cease its efforts. Huawei plans to invest heavily in R&D across several sectors in the future to ensure that it stays at the forefront of future expansion and acknowledges the importance of this trend. At some point in the not-too-distant future, I think China will be able to overtake the United States in terms of chip technology. It is also crucial that China will undermine the technical dominance of other nations. Those in possession of the technology care little about matters like chip supply. Likewise, it may provide opportunities for their companies. Learn to trust yourself and have faith in your future. A perfect case in point is Huawei. Huawei's enthusiasm may be useful to a wide variety of companies. They're certain that they'll keep evolving better at making chips and cutting down on their dependency on other countries. Similarly, it is anticipated continuous development and success for our Huawei business. It's possible that a company's efforts to address issues as they develop may be held up as an example for others. It is a proud moment for China that they have such a company in their country. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.